AI-generated virtual influencer model is now a trendy topic. A well-crafted AI influencer model can be a great source of income. In this video, I will share a method of making money with AI influencers. So, without further ado, let's dive in. We already know about Fuocus AI, which is a very useful tool for creating a hyper-realistic virtual influencer. We already made a video on it. If you didn't watch it, you can watch it from the i button. Okay, today, I won't use Fuocus AI, but use the advanced version of Fuocus called DFuocus AI. Here is the GitHub page, and this is the code. It is open source, just like Focus. You can even install this on your local computer. If we look at the improvements over the normal Focus, we can see they have added a tool in it called Photopeer, which is free, and a lighter version of Photoshop, and which is totally free. Now, we have built in Photoshop inside of Fuocus, which is a really good thing. If I scroll down, we have the built-in background remover and some other features like fast preset choices, more presets, sound after render, metadata, special theme, and optimized parameters. And if I scroll down even further, you will find all of them Digini options on DFuocus. They have also added a few features from Leonardo AI like the magic prompt, advanced sampler parameters like contrast, sharpness, and user-friendly control nets. If you want to download this on your local computer, you can do so, and it uses less RAM and GPU than the normal Fuocus. If you don't have a high-configured PC, don't worry we can use it on Google Collab. I will put the Google Collab link in the description. Once you click on the link, you will be on this page. Now connect the notebook with the GPU. Once the connection has been established, click on the Run button from here. Now it will take some time to install the files. Let's first forward this part. Once you find this Gradio link, click on it. And this is what our DFuocus interface looks like. You can instantly notice that we have the Photo Peer option and the Remove Background option, but the rest of the things are pretty much similar. So if I click on the Input Image and the Advanced options, you can see we have more advanced in painting models. And we have the Describe option, just like Midjourney. And we even have the Metadata. Let's have a look at how we can create a virtual influencer model with DFuocus. Like the normal Fuocus, we have to enter the prompt here. I am using the same prompt used in the normal Fuocus. After entering the prompt, set the quality, aspect ratio, and number of images. After all is set, hit the Generate button. Now wait some time to generate the images. And here it is. Our images are ready. In this way, we can create our influencer model. But how we can make money with this model? The best way to make money is by selling products. It could be any kind of product. But in the case of female influencers, fashion products can be the best option. If you don't have any products, you can sell products from various e-commerce platforms like Amazon. Or make your virtual store on Etsy and sell your design from Printify. For example, I want to sell this product. So, I will change my influencer model dress and put this dress on here. There are two ways to do that, but let's talk about the first method. First of all, you need to have your input image. Download your product image. You may notice this dress has a background. First, we have to remove the background. To do that, come to the background remover tab, upload the image, remove the background, and then download it on your device. Now get back to the generation tab and select the image prompt. After that, upload the image of the dress without backgrounds. After uploading the image of the dress, scroll down and click on this advanced option. Now you can play around with the stop value and wait value. My suggestion is to keep it 0.85 for stop value and 0.96 for wait. Now in the prompt section, type a prompt related to your dress. I'm going to type like a beautiful woman in a pink dress. After entering the prompt, make sure to select the aspect ratio according to your dress. After all is set, hit the generate button. And here are our results. And the results are very much similar to our dress. You may notice some differences in minor details, but it won't affect our process. All right, now the question is, this is just a random model and how we can put this dress on our personalized or customized model. To do that again, in the image, prompt upload your dress image. Now come to the right side, select the advanced options, 
and then select the developer debug mode. You'll get some new options here. Come to the controls tab from here and then select mixing image prompt with InPaint. All right, now come to the InPaint tab and upload your model image. I am uploading a previous influencer model image. Now start painting the dress area only and leave the rest of the area. Make sure to make a precise selection of that. You can adjust the brush size if you are facing any problems. After completing the process, delete the existing prompt and hit the generate button without any prompt. Now wait some time. And here it is, our images are ready. Now we have our own model with the same dress. In this way, you can generate images of your influencer model with any dress, ornaments, or any fashion products. After generating the images, download them on your device and then share them on your social media. Don't forget to add the product link in the description. Now if anyone becomes impressed and buys the product from the provided link, you will get a commission. In this way, you can promote products and make a huge amount of money. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating influencers and making money with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating.